My area of practice, I'm a, a corporate securities lawyer uh, focusing on tech, the technology sector. Um, most of my work is in the transactional area, but I do act as a virtual general counsel to a number of early stage companies. Uh, the reason why I chose this area is because of the fact that I'm a computer engineer by background and I wanted to combine my engineering background and leverage it uh, in, my, in my practice on a day-to-day -day basis. The um, aspect that I value the most about my practice is the um, opportunity to work with probably some of the most innovative and dynamic companies in the world, uh, especially in Canada, on a day-to-day -day basis. I advise some of the largest uh, um, acquirers of technology in the world, such as IBM and Google. I work with a number of early stage uh, companies uh, on their day-to-day -day matters, and I work with a number of investors uh, on the technology side as well. And this allows me to have an uh, impact on the technology sector in Canada. I've had a lot of great experiences um, over my career. Uh, probably the most, the most uh, important one, though, is becoming a partner at, uh, at a Bay Street law firm like Osler. Um, becoming a partner required the longest sustainable effort of my career, you know, dating back you know, from going to law school to articling to be, being an associate. You know, it's a 10-plus you know, year period, uh, so uh, I think that's an incredible accomplishment given the fact that uh, it's becoming harder and harder to make partner at Bay, at Bay Street Law Firm these days. I've received a lot of advice over the years, um, a lot of great advice, and I try to absorb as much as possible, um, like a sponge, and incorporate it into my day-to-day -day life, you know, to become a better uh, lawyer, become a better trust advisor, become a better person. But I think probably the best advice that I ever received was probably from my most important mentors, my parents, who told me to uh, work hard at everything you do and give it your best effort, and you'll never uh, sell yourself short. And ultimately, this has become a guiding principle of, uh, my life and how I uh, operate on a day-to-day -day basis. In terms of pro bono activity, because of my involvement with the technology sector in Canada, especially the early stage sector, uh, a lot of these companies can't afford legal counsel, but what I try to do is, and especially the community organizations as well, what I try to do is volunteer my time and volunteer my expertise in trying to help these emerging technology companies um, for at the earliest of stages and as the community organizations as well. Uh, with that, I feel I have an influence, you know, helping the next st stage of uh, Canadian entrepreneurs and then ultimately, which will have an impact on Canada and hopefully, you know, developing a better society at large.